I think I can compare the type of research that we do with what uh, explorers may have felt when they have seen you know, a new country for the first time. It's a, a very, very exciting time when you, when you know that you are the first person uh, to see this molecule or see this molecule performing a particular task. My lab is uh, interested in uh, gene expression, which uh, describes the process of getting from the genetic information which is stored in DNA to uh, the organism at the end, the phenotype if you wish. And so we are really interested in the machineries that carry out gene expression. In every organism, uh, gene expression occurs in two steps. So first, the DNA is copied into RNA, which is a labile copy of the DNA. And then the RNA is translated to protein, and proteins are really the workhorses. They can digest your food or they can form the lens of your eye or the hair on your head. But in more complex organisms, there are additional steps beyond the two that I just described. And so we use uh, an approach that's called structural biology, where we uh, purify these machineries and visualize them using an electron microscope at very high resolution. And this allows us to study them in great detail, understand the machineries at a mechanistic level. It's primarily a curiosity-driven type of research, but I think that you know, understanding a process in great detail is the prerequisite to develop strategies against uh, pathologies, for example, which are the result of misregulation of gene expression. You know, a lab is only as good as the people working in it. And so I'm very grateful that I was fortunate enough to attract very talented people in my lab that are doing the, the work that we do. People say, well, you know, if you dissect your cell uh, into these like parts and you just look at individual molecules, you lose all the beauty of it. But I think the opposite is true. By dissecting um, a cell into its components and looking at the individual components and understanding how they interact with each other and how they, they are orchestrated, uh, it's just unbelievably beautiful how well organized everything is. Before, we, we focused mostly on uh, machineries that we purified from bacterial cells. And so the price will allow us to acquire some of this equipment that we, that we need to move into a new direction. And actually, rather than studying bacterial enzymes, we will now directly study human enzymes. And this, I think, will, will be um, a very exciting, uh, but also very challenging task ahead of us.